We've learned about alleles and their ability to code for different characteristics. Remember, there are two genes coding for each of your traits, one from your mom and one from your dad. And your genetic makeup is what we call genotype. So for example, let's say in the color of dog fur, big B stands for the black fur allele. If both the dog's parents have black fur and pass down a black fur allele to their offspring, the dog's genotype is big B, big B. Again, this is describing the genetic makeup of the dog. So what actually manifests physically from these two alleles is what we call phenotype. So the phenotype of the dog would be black fur, and that means the phenotype is always determined by the genotype. And you can remember these terms easily, phenotype, physical traits, genotype, genetic information. So let's do some more examples. Which of the following describes genotype and which of the following describes phenotype? If we're talking about Sam's dimples or Kayla's inherited blue eye allele and brown eye allele from her mom and dad respectively. Or what if we're talking about um, roses? Roses are red. Or that G George has curly hair. Which of these are phenotypes and which of these are genotypes? So let's go through each of them together. Dimples describes a physical trait, so that must mean it's a phenotype. Inherited blue eyes and brown eye alleles, that is describing the genetic makeup, so this must be genotype. Roses are red and George has curly hair are both describing physical traits once again, so both of these are phenotypes. You can practice this yourself a little more and get really familiar with the difference between genotype and phenotype.